you never know where you might find some intrepid scientists trying to unlock some of nature's mysteries. I have found that by including prisoners in my science projects, I get a group of people who have time, who have space, and as it turns out, who have a deep interest in nature. You heard right. With help from the National Science Foundation, forest ecologist Nalini Nagkarni and her team study rare prairie plants nowhere near the prairie. They are behind the walls and razor ribbon at the Stafford Creek Correction Center in Aberdeen, Washington. I'm glad you're getting much better at the amount of seed per cell. The inmates aid the researchers by planting seeds, observing plant growth, and then recording data. Most of us have taken and taken, and now it's time for us to give back. Harry Essek is serving a 20-year sentence as an accomplice to murder. I'm paying my debt to society. Ned Carney is studying the dwindling prairie plants, trying to learn how best to cultivate them in the wide open spaces they call home. You are fast, man. The effort is appreciated here in the narrow confines of incarceration. For anybody to actually make the effort that they've made to see this through is great. It's a win-win proposition, a science redemption, if you will. Scientists get a reliable staff of long-term research assistants. Inmates get a job that beats stamping out license plates. It teaches me something, it makes me work with people, and it's just a new skill that I've learned. Turns out the learning goes in both directions, which leads Nagkarni to an ironic hypothesis about human nature. Everyone can be a scientist, that everyone can relate to nature, that everyone can contribute to the scientific enterprise, even those who are shut away from nature. And her journey inside the prison walls has led to another piece of irony. It's in many ways terribly depressing to walk into a, a high security prison and to know that some of these men are going to be there for the rest of their lives. I walk away enlightened. Other prisons are now interested in bringing science and scientists behind bars as well. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.